we've taken logical statements and turned them into uh, their circuit representation, but let's do the uh, opposite of that now, the reverse of that. Let's take the uh, circuit and turn it back into a, its equivalent logic statement. So here I just simply use the, the uh, two pieces of information that I know about circuits, and I'll just remind you one more time. If it's an AND, you have series circuits. They're on the same line together. If you have an OR, you have parallel circuits. One's above the other. So I know that because these two are above each other, those are parallel circuits. I, yeah, parallel circuits. So I take the two statements, not Q and P, and because they're parallel, I know that that is an OR. And then that entire thing, which is represented by this compound statement, is on the same line with this Q. So they are ANDed together because that's in series, and in series is an AND. So, so this Q is ANDed with this, com this compound statement here, and that compound statement here is a parallel, so it's an OR. And so it's really very easy. You just have to be careful take your time. There's the logic statement representing that circuit. Let's do another one of those. How about this one? Find the logic statement representing this circuit. Same idea. You've got three things on the same line, same level, so those are going to be in series, but, but the middle one of those has one thing above the other, so that's going to be the uh, parallel circuit. So you might want to just get that over and done with first. So the parallel circuit is going to be Q and P, and because they're parallel, we know that's an OR. So that takes care of this chunk, and then everything else is on line with each, in line with each other, so they're going to be ANDs. You're going to have a series of ANDs that hook these three things together. So you've got not P, ANDed with this chunk, ANDed with a not Q. So, there's the logic statement representation of that circuit. This statement is equivalent to that circuit.